I'm John Elder Robeson. I'm an autistic adult who grew up in the 60s before autism was recognized in folks like me. Um, I'm known uh, for my books, Look Me in the Eye, Be Different, Raising Cubby, and Switched On. I'm also known for my uh, work in music. I created a lot of the guitars that shot fire and rockets and stuff for KISS, and I found that a business robust and service that restores uh, high-end automobiles, and today I'm the neurodiversity scholar at William & Mary in Virginia, where I teach uh, about autism and difference. I think that the uh, first thing to keep in mind is that a lot of the high-profile employment initiatives for autistic people are with uh, big companies, but the fact is most of the jobs are with small business. And to a large extent, most of the opportunity for those of us who are different may lie in our own businesses. For example, I never had the social skills to really fit in in a big company. I didn't understand the dynamics of what was going on. So the fact that I was technically skilled wasn't enough for me to be successful in that environment. But when I go into a small business on my own, and in my case it was uh, fixing cars, but it could just as well have been wiring houses or unclogging clogged toilets or building driveways or putting roofs on. The thing about any of those jobs is that your clients who will support you usually only care about how you do the work. They don't care about the social dynamics so much. And, and so a person like me who's technically capable but socially inept can find independence through self-employment. And I think that we don't pay enough attention to stressing that when we teach people. And in voc rehab, we tend to be teaching um, how to get a job. And I think there's a lot to be said for how to make a job instead. And, um, and so then, in terms of making a job, one of the things I'd say to the voc rehab community is what you need are community partners. Uh, so, for example, where I am, back in Massachusetts, we have a high school program that takes public school students who can't um, succeed in a regular vocational high school, and we teach them life skills in the context of our working commercial complex. Our complex has auto repair, auto restoration. We have the backup 911 ambulance service for our city. We have the transfer ambulances for Western Massachusetts. And we have our city's child safety seat program. So our students can take part in real world activities. And when we teach them, we're teaching them in real workplaces. And I think that it's really important that more people join with educational institutions, voc rehab groups, and you know, other agencies to teach these kinds of skills and be mentors and then help young people find their way. Brought to you by the Pennsylvania Department of Labor and Industry, Office of Vocational Rehabilitation. Contact OVR at 800-442-6300. Or OVR feedback at pa.gov. Learn more about OVR at www.dli.pa.gov slash OVR and connect with OVR on Facebook at PA Voc Rehab, Twitter at PA underscore OVR and LinkedIn at PA OVR.